Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. So as you can see, we got four returns that showed up in the mailbox. Uh, one is an NFL return. The other three are all baseball returns. And uh, they happen to be a 1970 Topps card. So we'll be adding more to that binder set that we're putting together. Uh, again, I'm not trying to go for the whole autograph set, but I'm trying to just put the set together, period. And if I can get cards signed in it, then that's just a bonus. So that's what we're doing. Uh, should be a fairly quick video, but I wanted to share these with you guys so I can get them put away. Uh, if you hear the background noise, it's just got some fans going. It's going to be a cool 104 degrees today in California, so uh, the fans do come in a little handy. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get on with the TTM video. So our first return is a 101 success in nine days coming out of Orlando, Florida. And we were able to get back Mr. George Mitterwald. See here, catcher for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, we also asked Mr. Mitterwald to put his MLB debut, so he did put MLB 9-16-66. So we were able to get that added inscription, so really appreciate it, Mr. Mitterwald. Got a nice signature there. So definitely glad to get that one autographed. As always, the addresses I used will be in the description for you guys. Our next success is a 101 success. It took 11 days. It's coming out of Seattle, Washington. And we were able to get back Mr. Frank Reberger. You can see here... He uh, was with the San Diego Padres, and he signed a card in Black Sharpie, and we also had him add his MLB debut inscription, so you could see it says 6668, so that's pretty awesome there. So we were able to get Mr. Frank Reberger in just a quick 11 days. It's pretty awesome. Moving on to our next success. I didn't put how many days it was. Sorry, guys. It was a one-on-one -on -one success. This was about 14 days coming out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was about 14 days. We were able to get back Mr. Frank Lindsay. See here he's pictured with the San Francisco Giants pitcher. Also got this done in black Sharpie. I did ask him for an inscription. Um, it slipped my mind what I asked him for, but uh, he didn't do it. Completely fine. Compl you know, I'm not going to complain about it, but uh, if I can get them to do an added inscription, that's just a bonus. But definitely glad to get Mr. Lindsay's autograph for that set. So not too shabby, guys. We've got three more 1970 Tops cards that came back in. All free. All quick turnarounds. And for our last return, this is a 2 of 2 success in 148 days coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. This is one of the cards I sent off for the Battle of the Decades. Obviously did not come back in time, but I'm a huge fan, so I'll take it even if it came back late. And we were able to get back Mr. Marion Butts from the San Diego Chargers. Running back. He's one of those big bruising running backs from the early 90s. That was kind of the fad back then. And so we got Marion Butts on the 1991 Flare Ultra. And we got him on the 1991 Upper Deck Game Breaker Holograph or Hologram. Uh, I never tried getting a hologram done, so I thought this would be kind of cool. The autograph shows great, as you can see, like right there, because there's really nothing to detract from it. But uh, when you shine it, it looks even better. So pretty impressed on how this hologram turned out. So those were the two we got back from Mr. Marion Butts. Couldn't be happier. Of course, Chargers fans, so love getting Marion Butts back. Uh, so thankful to get those three 1970 Topps cards back from Mr. Lindsay, Mr. Reberger, and Mr. Mitterwald. And uh, there you guys go. Short, quick, five-minute video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, the addresses will be in the description. And as always, I hope you guys have a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya!